Siri, Siri, Siri. Siri is about to get a conversational upgrade, or so we hear, potentially turning this digital assistant that's lagged so far behind in recent years into your new best friend. What's going on with Siri lately? Anyways, back in the day, Apple bought this app called Siri and they baked it in to iOS and it was like the biggest deal. People thought, wow, they're so far ahead. This was foresight. And then Apple sort of sat on it, Siri stagnated, competitors caught right up and started bypassing what Siri was able to do. Fast forward to today, we have Apple Intelligence, which is kind of like upgraded Siri, but only a little bit. And some of it's sort of outsourced. Instead of developing their own true big base model LLM, Apple kind of has some smaller models that they integrate here and here and there. And it's like a patchwork you know, it's like puzzle pieces where they plug stuff in, but they don't have the whole picture. And so they're piping in ChatGPT. Sometimes it's free, you can upgrade. And it's just sort of like a weird patchwork of LLM stuff because Apple doesn't have their own Siri LLM, but that's the whole story here. Apparently, they are trying to play catch up. And this is something that I think a lot of people are like, why didn't they do this forever ago? Apple makes so much money. It's not like they didn't have the R&D that they could put into this, but they're seeing how valuable it is now and they don't wanna really outsource it, they're not happy doing that. At the moment, they're calling this LLM Siri internally. And the idea is they wanna develop a finally advanced version of Siri using large language models to enhance the interaction capabilities. So this would be something that's more natural, ChatGPT-like conversational sort of experience. Let's all be honest. As you hear me talking about this, are you like, wow, Apple's going to pull it off and it's going to be awesome? Or based on their track record when it comes to AI stuff, are you kind of skeptical? Are you like, maybe they'll do it? I'm not 100% sure that they can pull it off. There's so many other players that are like well entrenched now. Um, I don't know. I think a lot of people are expressing a healthy dose of skepticism. But at the same time, I sort of feel like Apple has to do this to catch up, to not be embarrassed, to stay relevant. It's clear that this is kind of the, the direction that things are headed. Apple's even getting into robotics a little bit. We've heard about their home robot uh, from German that is more of like a robot arm maybe that ho holds like an iPad sort of screen. But either way, the future clearly lies in robotics, in LLMs, uh, the pursuit of AGI. Apple's kind of far behind things like Claude. Apple's kind of far behind Things like X.AI, which has developed Grok, which lives over on X. People were saying how dumb Musk was for buying Twitter, turning it into X. And it turns out that X.AI on its own is already worth more than he paid for X, uh, for Twitter, which turned into X. So, I mean, like this field is growing, it's growing rapidly. You know, nuclear power is suddenly on the table. Everyone's talking about it because it's needed to power the AI future. It's all over the place and Apple knows that they have to get on board. As much as I despise Gemini, Gemini is way ahead of Apple in terms of like an internal tool and its capabilities. I don't like its outputs for the most part, I can tell you that. But right now, um, you know, the Apple intelligence is a little less intelligent than people would like, than I think people would expect coming from Apple, given their resources. A small segment of people are out there kind of concerned about what the privacy implications would be because to have a better LLM like this, that requires more data. But Apple's been positioning itself for years to handle privacy better than their compatriots, even though you do hear every now and then, again, uh, you know, like there's a whistleblower that'll be like, you wouldn't believe what the HomePod picked up. Remember when that story hit a while back? That's not necessarily a huge concern for me. If you're using technology, you're pretty spied on no matter what. Hey, if you're not already signed up for the newsletter, you gotta do it. It comes out on Fridays, it's free. It won't waste your time. Fill you in on everything Apple related in 30 seconds or less. Plus, it comes with free wallpaper. And if you didn't know, I've got some courses available online. New one on AI coming up shortly but I've got a course to teach you how to be productive finally. A course that goes way beyond the basics of Apple's Freeform app. A course that'll teach you how to shoot pro iPhone video if you're a beginner and plenty more. Check it out, it's all linked up down below. But you could imagine Apple baking this into everything, you know, like their journal app, it would really benefit from a localized mini version of an intelligent Siri. And the reason I bring that up and highlight it is because, you know, Craig's up there saying, what can Apple do that's different aside from integrating stuff at the system level, the ecosystem level, whereas other people just have to like deploy via an app, Apple can like bake this in deeper. Well, they can know more about you because that's just the nature of 
having your CarPlay data, having your iPhone data, having your iCloud stuff. Like they know so much about you. And I put no in quotes because Apple does try to keep things more private, right? But seriously, that could be a major upgrade, even though they're starting late. It could end up being, and I think Craig has planted the seeds of, of where the future could lie in terms of Apple's advantage when it comes to, you know, intelligence here. And that future is more personalized. That's why I bring up, you know, the journal app here. You know, everyone's asking, is Apple too late to the party here to really make a difference? Literally, that's what I see everybody asking here. What's funny though is Apple being late doesn't mean you should count Apple out or they're not gonna come in and take over. I know I can think of a bunch of instances, and I'm sure you can too, when Apple wasn't first to market, but they tried to be best when they eventually came to the market. And I think that that's played out a couple of times. In fact, you could say that that's been the de facto thing that they do lately for the most part, or let's say more often than not, they'll see what's going on out there. They weren't first in the foldable market, but they're developing foldable stuff. Sounds like it's actually gonna come at some point, but they're gonna try to put their Apple spin on it. And uh, Android users have a lot of fun with this. Oh, that's been on Android for a long time. We just talked about on this very channel, you can go look up the clip. It was just published recently about how Apple brought default apps, made those changeable. There's like six things you can change now beyond just the browser or your email default app. Well, that's something that's been on Android for a long time. So Apple doesn't always have to be first in order to bring value. I guess that's what I'm saying. And in the meantime, I think more competition is always good. It pushes indie developers, big companies to bounce off of each other and try to make the best product for consumers, which ultimately is a good thing. So I think Apple even signaling that they want to get into this in a very serious way beyond what we've seen so far with Apple intelligence beyond obviously where Siri has been for a long time is probably going to be a net benefit for all of us Apple users. Some people out there are concerned with Apple's, you know, politics. I think it's true. There's no such thing as neutral tech at the end of the day. But again, that's why there's going to be options. But I think the question will be, and I'm interested on your take, if Apple does come out and announce this, let's say, how are they gonna sell it in a way that doesn't seem like a swing and a miss or like a yawn when they do? Because they already have been hyping up Apple intelligence, AI, AI for the rest of us. What could they even say moving forward that would get people excited? Because by the time this would roll around, this tech would be kind of old, right? It would be yesterday's news if they did debut it in 2026. And that's assuming that it was as good as what's on the market today. So they're gonna have to take a leap forward um, and maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe we'll get like a one more thing sort of development of this. I really don't know, but I do wanna know what you think about it. So drop me those comments.